Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Horizon Forbidden West on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on hard mode. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, I'm going to leave it paused for a second because I'm sure Aloy, Varl and Zoe will start talking if I unpause it. I don't want them to talk over me. But in the previous video, we finally entered the Sacred Cave and we discovered it was a cauldron, and once again it had been taken over by Hephaestus and was producing dangerous machines. So we went through a bunch of platforming, and then we got into a scuffle with one of the land gods that had been corrupted by Hephaestus. We destroyed it, and we will now actually be able to use the schematic after destroying it to, at some point in this game, be able to override these Triceratops-looking machines. But we purged Hephaestus from this place, and now this place is once again safe, and we are about to now go and try and find Miverna, or whatever her name is, the subordinate that we need to get to add to Gaia, to activate Gaia, and then proceed to start saving the world. So let's get straight into things. Let's go and get Miverna. But first things first, actually, I need to start looting all of the stuff in this place, because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of goodies for me to get. Aloy, the core. My focus is showing holograms on it. They look like machines. There must be overrides. Knowledge on how to tame machines. And you can learn this? Let's find out. Well, that's literally what I just told the wolf pack. <laughs> I love it how I say it and then Aloy says it straight after. Shut up, Aloy. I will tell people what's going on. You don't need to do it for me. That is my job as a commentator. Oh, lovely. Soon Ooh, we need some more mushrooms actually. We used we used quite a few bloody mushrooms during that battle. Or berries. So pretty much she puts mushrooms and berries in a medicinal pouch. So a mixture of berries and mushrooms. I don't know if that would taste very good. I mean I don't like the taste of mushrooms anyway. Before moving on. They might come in handy. I should probably pick up all of the goodies before moving on because without those goodies I won't be able to craft ammo and I'll never be able to defeat any machines. So why don't you shut up, Aloy? <laughs> Alright, let's learn some new stuff. Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. All the data's been corrupted. Not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. What were they called? Yes. Let's press on then. What are they called? A plow what? A plow horn did that side. And also a bristleback. Why do we get a bristleback cauldron? A uh, bristleback override unlock. Now we could ride on Pumba. Now we should override a bristleback and then chase Ulvand. That'd be hilarious. Fucking all of and chain scrape. Well, he's not in chain scrape no more. He left. Right, let me uh, quickly spend my skill points. Need to get that at some point as well. Alright, I've got everything I need in that one. Probably want to get a few more upgrades in the melee tree, to be honest. Yeah, because we do use our melee weapon somewhat regularly, and this one here is very good. Where you do extra critical damage to a downed machine. Very, very useful. Especially against things like scrap, um, not scrap, but like things like long legs, things that are like medium strength. It can sometimes it can nearly one shot them, so it's very good to have. Alright, let's go and find. It's called Maverna, ain't it? Let me have a look. Minerva. Yeah, Minerva. Okay, there we go. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least, not directly. It's a very, very dodgy Attention. warning. All personnel must vacate the facility immediately. Something doesn't want us here. 
What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? I've seen... No. Would you see... Yes, we have. We've seen loads of buildings like this, eh, Lloyd? Do you not remember Horizon Zero Dawn? I know, I know Gorilla took a while to release the bloody game. Five years, actually. But I'm pretty sure we've been to a lot of places like this. There. That's our way out. Error. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least Ooh. the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. Jesus. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah. Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us. Yeah, and don't you two get up to no good whilst I'm gone. I know you two, like, you know, you're in the honeymoon period of your relationship. I don't want to come back and see anything unfamily friendly, okay? Man, how red is that? I mean, look at me. I'm glowing red as well. And I'm, I'm, I'm about, like, what, two meters, I'd say, away from my TV. So, fuck me, that is a luminous red, ain't it? It's blinding me. <laughs> God damn. I love the tension you get in the uh, R2 when you're uh, prying open doors and stuff. Dual sense controller. Absolute masterclass in construction. I'm guessing Mark Cerny designed it. Mark Cerny, if you're watching this for whatever reason, because you never know. You're an absolute legend, mate. Are you doing okay, Zo? How can I hear you two talking? Are you doing okay, Zo? All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. This okay. is what will help heal planes. I need to find where Minerva's it's hiding. To I, mean, I should look for a I way to access the facility it, systems. Yeah. It's what Aloy's been looking for this whole time. I like how I can hear them so far away. But just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a, a slight muttering. <laughs> Alert. Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope. Sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Oh, we're gonna have to go that way, aren't we? Yeah, you can shoot those, can't you? Yep. This leads. What are all those cables in the center for? Who bloody knows? Who bloody knows, Aloy? I mean, I'm from this time period, and even I don't bloody know. <laughs> I can feel a draft above. Might be a way out of this shaft. All right, let me have a look down here first. Oh, is that green thingy? Shit, green shine fragment. I still don't even know where I spent these. I'll tell you what, Wolfmore Best, I'm sure Aloy's going to ruin my, uh, my moment now. Looks like another part of the facility. Oh yeah, I don't think we can go this way, yeah. I think we literally have to go outside and come back in. But um, I've, I've had a lot of trouble over the last couple of years, like, really being excited about games. Like, I know I like the games, I do enjoy them, but I've had a lot of trouble, like, feeling any excitement, you know? You know that feeling when a brand new game releases, you get hyped to play it, or when you come home from work, you know, it's going to be on the floor through your letterbox, stuff like that. I've not felt excitement for video games for a very, very long time for... I, I don't know if it's just part of the depression I deal with or whatever, but... Depression don't normally affect my love for games, so I'm not too sure, but I've had a very, very lacklustre amount of excitement for video games. But with Horizon Forbidden West, this is one game for a very long time where I've actually been excited to play, and I'm not sure why. Because even games like Crash Bandicoot 4 didn't excite me. I enjoyed them, I loved them, but I didn't feel the excitement. My, emotionally, I felt nothing. It was depressing as hell. But with this game, I actually get excited to play. I don't know, there's something about this game. I need to find a way back into the facility. Obviously, it is a Maybe sublime game. It's like a 9 out of 10 for me, time. but... I don't know. Just saying about this game is very... Oh, look at that. An abundant medicinal sky brush. Nice. Extra berries. Yeah, just saying about this game really, like, excites me again. It's good. It's nice. Oh, I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia finally bring her back and we can start fixing the blight the storms and maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were why did they have a clone of elizabeth why did they want it back up 
You're asking too many questions whilst climbing very precariously on the side of a cliff. With ice all over it as well. Now is not the time to be thinking about this stuff. You should be thinking about not falling down and dying. I mean, look at that. That's a big drop, Aloy. I might be able to glide to that ledge. Hey, don't start telling me uh, tips again. I turned those tips off for a reason. Man, they give me a load of berries. And I don't think we've got to do any battling yet. Oh, there we go. I was going to say, how the flipping hell do I get up there? Also got God of War Ragnarok this year. Forspoken was delayed recently, if you didn't know. Some of those rocks look loose. I think I can clear them. Another shaft. I was kind of happy being outside, away from this bright red. <laughs> Giving me a bloody headache. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Oh, sweet. A couple of little hidden crates over here. I think the thing I love the most about this game, I think it's the side missions. Because you know when you do the main story, you've got all of the cinematics, you've got all of the uh, proper chatting with the characters, you know, zooming in on their faces and all that good stuff. Normally you do side missions, there's not much effort put into it. Whereas the side missions in this game are like just as intricate as the main missions. I like that. I think that's what's probably doing it for me. I think that might be it actually. Even the side missions are just as great as the main missions. Everything just feels like it's worth doing, you know. System core penetrated. Got to like a bit of penetration. Insight guy a colonel. Oh, it must be here then. Oh, yeah, this is going to be... Oh, yeah, this is going to be where our base of operations is going to be. Oh, I didn't think we were going to get here yet. I'll be able to show you all about the uh, cauldron stuff in a minute. There's going to be a lot of talking now, though, I think. Like, the rest of this video might be talking from guy, I maybe. Mean. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. <laughs> it didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. My cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her, like you used to be. Desiree, will cease. Yes. Oh yeah, straight out then. No more misery. If only. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. <laughs> Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Do you wish to initiate heuristic matrix? Here goes.
Are you perving through my memories? So it is Aloy, not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? No! They will be here shortly. Um... Okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Don't let them in! No, get out! Man, the sound effects from this control! Uh, so no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Laurel, so This is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. this place a regional control center where zero dawn progeny would have overseen terraforming operations in the area why did you give them the ability to communicate with me by fo focus so basically like a radio so they could ring me up at any time now and bother me so not only will Aloy be chatting to me non-stop or to herself I should say a bloody Zoe and Varl ringing me up oh great I might as well not bother commentating ever again. Uh, Gaia is going to talk about a lot of different things and a lot of the things I do need to click on so you guys and girls can familiarise yourself with the story as well as me, I need to know because there's a lot of things I don't remember. But she will remind you a lot of stuff that happened during the first game so it's good to talk to her about a lot of things but I, don't, I reckon it will be probably a chunk of this video and possibly the next video. <laughs> so there's going to be a lot of talking to Gaia. It's the kind of stuff you do need to listen to, though. Otherwise, you might get a bit confused later What's on. What's this? This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just so a few. This was supposed to be... To start with. You two go ahead. That was its intended to... purpose. Poke around a bit. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Here you go. See, so as you can see, for us to fix the corruption, we need to get a plow horn, horn, and we also need to get a plow horn primary nerve. Getting the primary nerve will probably be easy, just kill one. But knocking off the horn seems like it. We need three, actually. We need to knock three horns off. That mean we need to kill three plow horns. Jesus. Where's the uh, bristleback then? Do I, can I already override the bristleback then? Is that automatic or something? Because it said I've got the bristleback one and this one in the previous video. Now you imagine riding one of these triceratops into battle. <sighs> oh. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. <laughs> yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Right, so uh, every single room's got different abilities, uh, different, like, uh, stuff you can do in them, and uh, more and more rooms become accessible as you progress through the game. More and more things can be spoken about with characters in Gaia. This is just basically your main... This is like in Destiny, you know, the, the, the in number one you had the tower or whatever it was called so where you do all your stuff. All it's time. basically like that. Built for people who would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? 
He... sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. Yeah, Ted Farrow was a cock. You heard a lot about him in the first game. Right, stay okay. out here, Varl. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Good. <laughs> Good. All right. Get your notepad out, Wolf and Wolf. It's time to start taking notes. Could be a bloody history lesson. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. So you're ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. Alright, let's ask her about the strangers first. You're not going to believe some of this. If you can remember some of the stuff that's going on during episode one and two of this playthrough, then you'll sort of understand what's up. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... a, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated. But it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. Jesus! A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. So this is where the beam that caused okay, all the problems so was. What's so far away and... and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Well, damn! So that spaceship we was uh, learning about back in episode one and two, uh, that we thought blew up, the same people that also wanted their own version of Gaia, but uh, wasn't given their version of Gaia. Instead, we gave them that flipping, that joke Gaia, you know, where you had that dude with the middle fingers and all that. So I guess they've managed to get somewhere very far away on their spaceship and colonize the new planet, I guess. But how the hell did though, that group of people get back here? If they're that far away, how did they get back here so quickly? Maybe they've come back to get their own Gaia now for their own planet? Who knows, man, there's a lot to learn. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your subfunctions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aletheia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? 
Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. Right. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. USB stick then, all right. <laughs> the cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Sweet! Very nice! So we, we, need, we uh, can only store one on it at a time, that don't bloody matter. There's only three out there we need to get anyway. Uh, questions about the subordinate functions? I don't want to talk about the biosphere, there's not much point. Questions about the zeniths? Might want to talk about that a bit more. I think we should talk about this a bit more. Questions about the subordinate functions could be useful. Let me have a look at this one. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes. The system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere, to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction, instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. Okay. Makes sense then. Right, there's still other stuff I need to talk to her about, but I'm going to need to end this video soon. So we'll end the conversation with her now, and then I think we can click on her, and I think we can still talk about these things again. I think you could talk to her anytime. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. Yes. Once we have them, we can focus on the reacquisition of Hephaestus. When that is achieved, I will have complete control of the Zero Dawn system and the ability to produce as many machines as needed to defeat the Far Zenith threat. An army of machines. Sounds like a plan. So, the three procurable subfunctions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case, you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest, and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. 
However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located. Oh, sweet! There. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. I was gonna say that. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Aether of it, uh, Aether. Yes, yeah, level 17. I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. I could do that myself! <laughs> if you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! I'm gonna have to get used to that. <laughs> That's you, Aloy? Uh... Yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Alright. Okay. Better pause it before they talk again. Gonna have to end the video now, Wolfmorph. Let's be here, like I said. A lot of information to process, but at least we know more about who those weirdos were, Varzenov, and we also know about what subordinate functions we need to get now. But yeah, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Morbets. It's already gone about, is that four minutes over my uh, recording time? So this, this video will take about 20 years to uh, render now. But yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like, share, and join the pack today.